Hello viewers, today I'm going to be building a fake pole pig with a mot inside. I'm going to be using this for a voltage stepping down. Um, usually when I do like high voltage power line experiments outside with these transformers, I uh, like to see the uh, voltage drop on the lines. I was thinking I could order, you know, like a half kVA uh, pole transformer, but those actually cost as much as a big transformer which is quite surprising so I'm going to be powering this transformer up that's going to be stepping it down uh, with a, that big transformer over there and it's 2400 volts uh, this has a 20 to 1 ratio but like I explained in the other video uh, this since small transformers really struggle to step up voltage so you have to have a bigger ratio than the output will actually be so this will be able to handle 2400 volts fine so these are the things that I uh, purchased for this. I think it'd be cool to get this insulator in there, this bushing, from a real pole pig. And as you can see, it's uh, too tall, so yeah. So these, uh got all these connectors off Amazon, this paint can, um, microwave oven transformer. It's pretty small. I'd say this is probably only like 100 VA continuous max, I'd say it's a pretty small transformer um, just for a reference that there is a 0.75 kVA transformer so much larger um, these bushings here I actually had to order these off Alibaba uh, directly from China I can't find these anywhere uh, in the USA so they're porcelain uh, feed through bushings. I have two for low voltage and one for the high voltage. And uh, it's only 20, going to be 2400 volts. So it's about the size of one of these bushings. Uh, usually 2400 volt transformers have a tr bushing like this right around the back. So, but anyway, just thought I'd begin. Unfortunately, I did have to compromise the integrity of this can uh, when drilling through for that hanger there, I uh, tried soldering for like a whole hour, trying to just solder it on. I couldn't get it. My soldering skills uh, take the piss. So inside, I put a whole bunch of caulking around the uh, bolts and put a piece of waterproof tape there, hoping that will hold the oil in, which it should. Um, so let me begin the assembly. And I have some transformer hydraulic oil in the background. I uh, don't think it's financially feasible just to put real transformer oil in these. It's a uh, real transformer oil is very expensive. So what I'm going to do now is ground this microwave oven transformer out. The ground lead. That's the case we're gonna set to even more. Come on, okay. Should be a pretty hot I can't find my hot glue for like me. So I'm just gonna take a chance. Do it right out of it. That's the high voltage
Okay, now the only thing left to do is to put some oil in. Gotta leave the uh, three volt windings in there. Uh, maybe I'll put a external three volt lamp on it. Some transformers do have a uh, load indicating lamp on them, like a really old, it's a very old uh, thing. But let's go X1, X2, ground. Uh, these I tried to tighten them down as best as I could because there's no uh, sealant in there. Same with that one. Put some oil in. See what happens. Looks pretty good and it does not appear to be leaking out the back which is good so, put the case on and let's try it out and now for an arc Say this was a success. <laughs> 